Look at this beautiful garden right here. Enjoying all the rain that we've had. <laughs> Janelle, how are you? Hi, I'm great, thanks. Uh, so Janelle, you're with Rose Pests and I'm sure that you know all the gardens love the rain, but so do mosquitoes and you're gonna kind of help us out with that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, we are in a typical um, backyard. We're mm -hmm. here in Skokie and I'm gonna take you through um, what we do during a mosquito service. And this is a great example because this is such a beautiful garden with tons of pollinator flowers. We've got active butterflies, active honeybees. We don't want to kill the bad guys. So I want to take you through the process of a mosquito service mm -hmm. and what we teach the homeowner and what we can do to stay protected this summer. You said pollinator flowers and that's what these are we're looking at right now. Yes, yeah, aren't they gorgeous? They are, they're beautiful. Some flocks, some black eyed Susans, gay feather. It's just, it's paradise right here. So when you spray for mosquitoes and stuff like that, you typically, where people are worried about their flowers and stuff like we that. We will not touch these. Okay. These are, this is its own haven. We want butterflies and honeybees to thrive. So this is not an area that we would treat for mosquitoes because they're typically not gonna be hiding in those areas anyways, but I'll show you where they are gonna be. Please do. Let's see. So what, but, uh, and I imagine you're gonna get to this in a second, but since I saw that running water, yes. that's a good thing to have. Yeah, well, because yes. if it's, uh, if you're gonna have water, if yes. it, because you want it to be running, you don't want it to be stagnant. And you're you, gonna show me that on the Exactly, side. so mm -hmm. running water will prevent any mosquito breeding from happening. Mosquitoes will lay eggs in still water. So that's the ultimate thriving situation, but keeping the water moving, having a pump in your pond, which I'll show you in a second, mm -hmm. is gonna eliminate that possibility. Okay, and so we're going to talk about mosquito prevention and you have a couple of things to show. Yeah, yeah. so um, obviously this is where they like to sit and enjoy their time in their yard. For sure. It's beautiful. Um, and I, I will say that n no matter what, it, mosquito mosquitoes are something that we can't control. Even a professional mosquito service is... 85% reduction or so. So you still have that slight chance that you're gonna get bitten. And especially if you're sitting at a table, you have a citronella candle on the table, your ankles are still gonna get bitten yeah, underneath the table. Yeah, they don't really work outside of the right. little area that they're in. And people think they get, unless it says on there that it gets the whole yard, but Right, even well, then. you have to think about the radius of coverage. Citronella candles maybe only hit about six inches of a radius of protection. So you're talking ba barely the tabletop here yeah. versus, look at me, look at this whole yard here. This is a big yard. So unless you have citronella candles placed all over the yard, it's not going to do a whole exactly, lot. Exactly, exactly. So you got to think about a combination of things that are effective. Um, we can't control the mosquitoes in the air, but you can control what you put on your body, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, insect repellent mm -hmm. is going to come in handy, no matter what. Even if you do have a service for the yard, and the EPA has approved three different active ingredients. Obviously, this is the winner here. Deep Woods Off. We all know it well. It actually is labeled um, for protection against West Nile virus. It does contain DEET. Um, this will even tell you the percentage. Always check the label on the product. What's DEET? DEET is one of the active ingredients that is approved by the Environmental Protection Agency mm -hmm. to prevent West Nile virus. Okay. Yeah, and that's the virus that mosquitoes carry. One of them anyways. There are a handful of diseases I mean, mosquitoes are the most dangerous insect in the world. I don't know if you guys know that, but <laughs> this is a very real thing. And um, well, this is the other product that yeah. I personally like. It's um, oil of lemon eucalyptus. For all you DIYers out there, if you want to make your own bug spray, 30% lemon eucalyptus oil is what they recommend for effective protection. Uh, and it smells nice too, so I do prefer that. And but, you put that in what? So uh, there's a carrot. There's recipes online and Got stuff. Um, Pinterest has a bunch of them. There's a lot of carriers, but um, that is the active ingredient. So that's the concentrated ingredient. Okay. Um, so always protect your body. That is the most important thing, regardless of any other gimmick you have in the yard. Always protect your body. Um, and this is, a, this is a big yard where there's plenty of opportunities for you guys to spray to help protect the yard. So how would you go about uh, doing something in a yard Right, like so this? since she's got some beautiful pollinator gardens, she's got a vegetable garden going, mm -hmm. those are areas we would not treat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're eating the vegetables that you're growing, we don't want those contaminated with any pesticides. But over here, for example, where she does have a couple of lawn chairs where she likes to relax, these bushes behind here are perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes. It's a dense bush. 
dense vegetation like this gives mosquitoes a perfect hiding spot to breed. And water collects in a lot of tree leaves too. And a lot of people know that. No. Yeah. And well, mosquitoes only need this, the amount of water that will fit inside of a bottle cap to breed. That's oh. it. So you okay. can imagine after a rain, how leaves will collect water in the trees or there might be puddles or soggy patches in the, in the yard. That's breeding grounds. That's a haven. So we would treat all of these bushes. Okay. Um, the, the product that we use is applied in a micro droplet form. It is misted. It's not fogged or anything. So it's very controllable, targetable, and we're addressing specific zones that they breed in. So these bushes are a great candidate. If you swivel over here, you'll yep. see some more bushes along the fence line. Those are also very, very common. Like these guys back here? Yep, those are very common for mosquito breeding. So we would hit those as well, but we would definitely avoid the garden area and the pollinator plants as well. So the things that you spray, you would go, you do your diligence to not get the things that people might worry about that would kill flowers or vegetables because exactly. you're eating those vegetables, you guys are go above and beyond to exactly sure that's it's so important it's all about the balance we're not here to eradicate every living species it's about what's comfortable for you what is in the best interest of your health and your protection um, and that's that's all taken into consideration so for people who uh, you know we're halfway through the summer is I'm guessing it's definitely not too late just because we've gotten so much rain so what's the best way for people to go about scheduling an appointment with you guys? They can visit us online at rosepestcontrol.com and get a free quote or they can call 800 got pests um, and that will route to our nearest office um, we're here here for you for your protection that is for sure um, I, I do also want to say mm -hmm. July is typically the month that we see West Nile virus spikes in Cook County, Lake County, DuPage County, and it is a very real thing. West Nile virus is right in our backyards and the symptoms are horrible. And I, I think with all of the, the hype about other viruses, people often forget that this is a real thing. So that's why I'm trying to educate people, always protect yourself. Bring bug spray with you if you're going walking or running in the forest preserve, if you're taking your dog for a walk, always protect your body. That is the best thing you can do. Well, Janelle, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, for more on uh, Rose Pest and what you guys offer, give me that site one more time. Rosepestcontrol.com. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.